Hey there, this is Christina, and I'm making this video as part of my series on um, George Mason University College Graduation, May 1994. So as I was going through all of my um, um, college stuff, I found this, which I guess I felt was uh, significant enough to save, and I'm glad I saved it because I'm, I'm finding it now, and it's just amazing as far as the evolution of technology and um, operational efficiency and business process automation and all this stuff. But um, before I share, share it with you, um, the way that we would register for classes is we would stand in line on campus for hours. I mean, hours. The, the line would just curve around and you would just have to, you know, it would increment so slowly and then you'd finally get up there to the people with, um, I guess they had, I think they had terminals that were connected to like an IBM mainframe. This was before um, Windows operating system. <laughs> so anyway, it was, it, was, it was terribly inefficient for everybody, the students and the staff and everything. So they came up with this great idea. Can you believe this? This was um, March 1993. They came up with this idea for fall 1993 that they were going to do phone-in registration. Not computers, not yet, but just phone <laughs> instead of standing in line. You could now call in. And, and by the way, this was, as you see here, this was only a pilot program, and it was only for seniors. And I was, you know, going to be a senior that fall. And they gave you the number. And actually on the other side of this paper was my invitation. Um, it says, Dear Miss Hoffman, you have been selected to participate in George Mason University's pilot test of its new touch-tone telephone registration system for fall 1993 semester. You were chosen because you are currently enrolled and will be a senior next semester. Um, as part of this pilot, you no longer have to drop in a request form or wait in line to register for classes. You can call in your registration by phone! Exclamation point. And you can also adjust your schedule um, and uh, t uh, something about tuition charges, your total tuition. So it goes on to say, don't you know? Don't stand in line. Don't mail anything in. Um, you were you're given a certain scheduled day and time to call in and a pin number, and it won't work any time before that date and time. And thank you for participating in this pilot project. And you will be given priority based on the number of credits that you've earned and accrued and all this. So <laughs> this was a this I mean, this was in March of nineteen ninety three. Now think about that. I mean a a a, a university moving from mailing in registration and standing in line in person registration to touch tone phone registration. I mean, not even computers yet. Okay, this is way before the internet. Um, this is before Windows operating system, and obviously before Apple and all of the you know iPhone and iPad and iPod and Macs and internet and Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and podcasting and everything. It makes me feel like so old. This was like 20 years ago and I don't even, I don't know where the time's gone. I don't feel, I'm 46 and I don't even feel 46. I feel 26. I, I really do. I've taken good care of my health and I have eaten, I eat right, um, work out, five to six times a week, ever since 1986. 
and people don't even believe that I'm that old, and I don't believe that I'm that old, and I don't believe that I'm looking at this this stuff. I mean, it's just it's just like surreal in a way. I'm like, wow, who was I back then? And you know, it's so different. Like everything's so different now. And this, I mean, this was in this thing that's taped. This is like an article that was in our school newspaper that's taped into my scrapbook. And yes, it's yellow. Like this color is this used to be white. <laughs> I mean, I used to look at my grandparents' stuff and see the yellow paper and think, "Wow, that was the olden days." So, <laughs> wow. Now I'm looking at my own um, paper-based mementos turning yellow. And I don't know, like, people nowadays, I don't know if they're going to have anything paper to even look back on. I mean, I don't know if people even keep scrapbooks anymore now that we have the, um, we, we keep all of our stuff online in the cloud. Actually, on other people's systems that we don't even own, control, or influence, um, unless you have a blog and you're keeping everything there. But anyway, nonetheless, I wanted to um, just make this little video because some people, just to give you perspective, I mean, I know that some people are in their 20s and they don't really have an idea of how technology has evolved. So this will kind of give you a benchmark of, you know, this is a college in 1993 that moved from in-person and mail registration for classes to, to a phone. And we've had phones for like... <laughs> Since Alexander Graham Bell in the 18, 18, I don't even know, whenever the phone was invented. <laughs> right, so interesting, interesting evolution of technology. And I, I'm the um, first to say we live in the most advantaged technolo technology era ever right now with all the mobile apps, with all the um, software it's highly configurable. You can automate your business process. Um, there's just you can integrate systems, disparate systems, so they can talk to one another. I've actually been in the technology field since 1996, and I've watched the whole entire thing evolve from the inception of the internet. And it's just really exciting. So. If you're younger and watching this, please understand that you have every advantage. There's just, the internet is a gateway to the world. Don't take it, I mean, don't take it for granted because it's just so easy and free, I mean, to access. It is really powerful. And I can only imagine what you guys are going to create and do having this resource because back when I was um, 26 or 18 or whenever, um, everything was in person, by hand. I mean, even, like, look at this. This is courier font. I mean, this was probably done, I don't think, on a typewriter, uh, on a, you know, manual typewriter, but definitely, like, an IBM Selectric or something like that. Um, I had a typewriter in college, a Smith Corona. And um, and and then when I wasn't using that, everything else was handwritten by with pen or pencils. I mean, that's what you bought as far as school supplies. And I would read books, and that's time consuming, right? I, mean, I didn't. There was nothing like podcasts to listen to, so I would go to Borders, and I have hundreds of books on my bookshelf, and I would read books all the time. College textbooks, of course, for for my my classes, and then other things that I was interested in, like success and psychology and um, stuff like that. Um, mindset and personal development. I've been studying all this kind of thing since 1986, and it didn't stop once I graduated. In fact, it kind of accelerated because I've always been committed to learning and growing and very curious, like an insatiable curiosity about so many different things. And, um, yeah. So this is all this was about. Um, Phone-in registration pilot program for seniors at George Mason University, <clears throat> 1993.